Hey friends, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan and today we are talking about living forgiven. Stay right here. Glad you're with me today just thinking about living forgiven. Recently I heard that song What Mercy Did For Me and there's that little line in it that says I'm living like I'm forgiven and it is just stuck with me and I'm so glad because the other morning uh, the enemy was messing with my mind. I had just woken up a fresh new day and he already started talking to me, tried to remind me of something way back in the past that I've been forgiven for. I'd asked for forgiveness years ago. He tried to bring it up fresh again and as he was reminding me of that I could feel that sadness coming on me, that shame coming on me, but then I started thinking about the blood of Jesus. I thought, wow, yeah, that sin was great. Man, but His grace, it's greater. The, what the blood does, <laughs> it's greater for me than that old sin was. So, you know, it, it changed things. It changed my perspective. I didn't identify with being that old sinner anymore. I identified with being redeemed by the blood. Now, I had a friend that uh, was so sad that she had been through a terrible time in life. And, you know, she had a boyfriend, found herself expecting a baby. And he drove her to an abortion clinic and said, now you go in and have this procedure or I'm leaving you. Well, she was so upset and all alone. She just went in and, and had that surgery done. And she said the shame of that came on her immediately. And then he left her. He didn't even stay with her. So she found herself alone and full of shame. And she had carried that hurt with her. And she was going to our church. And I could just tell when she was worshiping that she was just broken. And we began to study and talk about what the blood of Jesus has done. That, you know, First John chapter 1 and verse 9 says, Now, if you'll confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive you. And to forget it, to purify you of that sin. Like, like it's never happened. That you could take out that old man and put on the new. And we got talking about that and I watched her get free. So she didn't identify with that girl that had messed up that was full of shame and, and regret, but she let the blood of Jesus go to the darkest, deepest regions of her heart, wash her clean and gave her power to be a, a witness to other people, to have a powerful testimony. Her story has set other people free. That was in the same mess that she was. Now don't be caught in the trap where the enemy wants you only to see yourself as that sinner. No, we are living like we are forgiven. That sin, your past, it's been thrown in the sea of forgetfulness. Your sin, he'll remember no more. God's not trying to remember anything bad about you. He's there willing, loving you, and he's easily forgotten the things you have confessed to him. Praise God. It's so good to be forgiven, and that's how we'll stick with the plans he has for us. So glad you're with me today. I love hearing from you what God is doing in your life. It's a blessing to us. Thank you for all your likes, your love, especially those shares. You getting this out to your friends, it's an encouragement to us. If you're on YouTube, go ahead, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're on Facebook, like this page because each and every week we are bringing you a brand new video to help you stick with the plan. I'll see you again.